Welcome to another Tip of the Week brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost, and today's lesson, we're going to take a look at some string functions. Now, I know I've covered these string functions in other Tips of the Week and in my other lessons. However, you can never learn too much about manipulating text when it comes to working with databases. Today, we're going to take a look at in-string, left, right, and trim. This question comes to me from Scott. Scott says he's got a text field called title in a table called master that is essentially some data with a little code in it. All right, the code is a left bracket followed by a number or letter followed by a right bracket. And he says this code can appear anywhere throughout the field. So it could appear in the middle, at the beginning, or at the end. Now, if it was just at the end or just at the beginning, that'd make this a whole lot easier. But since it appears anywhere throughout, well, then we got some extra work to do. So let's create a query. Query designer. And I'll bring in my master table. And I'll bring in title. And what I want to do first is find the location of that bracket inside that string. So I'll use the in string function. I'll say bracket position, I'll abbreviate it BRPOS colon is going to be equal to the in string function. What am I looking for? I'm looking in title, the field title, comma. I'm looking for, quote, left bracket, quote. That's what I'm looking for, is a left bracket. OK, left bracket character. All right, there I am, zoomed in a little bit. A left bracket character. All right, let's run this query. And there you can see, in this one here, the bracket position is the 11th character. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay? And bracket position over here is 6. So there's 4, 5, 6. That's the 6th character. So now I know where I can get that value inside the title string. Now, if this were a variable length code, like if this said ABC inside of here, then we'd have to find the right bracket too. But fortunately, this is only one digit, either a character or a number. So we only have to worry about the finding the left one. Alright, so back into design mode. There's the left bracket. Now that I know where the left bracket is, I can pull that code out. Alright, I can say the code is going to be in the middle somewhere, in the middle of the string, right, middle of title, comma, the bracket position plus one. I don't want the bracket itself, so move over one and get that code comma, one character. All right, let's see what that looks like. Run my query, and there we go. All right, find the bracket, move one character over to the right, that A, and that's my code. Now, Scott, I'm assuming that you want to be able to pull this code out of this and be left with what's, what the remainder of this is. All right, so let's grab the left side of that and the right side of that, and we'll put those in two more fields over here. Back in design mode. Okay, the left side, LST, LSTR, we'll call it the left string, is going to be the left of the title, comma, the bracket position minus one. All right, get everything to the left of the bracket position minus one character, because we don't want the bracket itself. And just in case we have any extra spaces, I'll put the trim function around that. That'll get rid of any extra spaces in front or behind it. All right, let's see what that looks like. Run it. All right, there's Joe Smith, there's Bill. See, because Bill is to the left of that bracket. There's nothing to the left of this bracket, so that one's empty. All right, Dave Mason, the whole thing. And then just Adam. Now we need the right side. The right side's going to look like this. Our string is going to be the right of title, comma, how long? Well, the length of title minus bracket position minus 2. And I'll throw a trim around that whole thing as well. Trim to get rid of any extra spaces. And let's run it first to make sure it works. Okay, look at that. Great. All right, left string, right string. Now let's see what we got. Why does this work? Well, take a look at the data. I need the right so many characters. Well, the right four characters in this case. All right, how do I get to four? Well, that bracket position is at position 6. All right? So what I need to do is I need to say, okay, the length of title, this whole thing, minus the bracket position, which brings us to here. 
Okay, so that's position six. So one, two, three, four, five, six brings us to there from the right side. Well, I need two less than that. So that brings us there. There is no right side here. Here, the left bracket is position one. So the right of the whole thing, minus one, the bracket position, minus two more, brings us there. And the trim will take care of that extra little space. Same thing here. The bracket position is in position six. So there's five, six, right? And then two less than that. Now, what to do with this data once we've got it? Well, we can reassemble this into a new field using an update query. Yes, you could just update the title, but I would recommend putting this into a new table. If at all possible, I like leaving my old tables alone because you never know when you might need the data in this format too. So we could either add new fields to this master table or we could make a new table and drop them in there with an update query or an append query. Or we could just reassemble these and leave them and just work from this query. There's a, a, several different ways you can do it. Right, to reassemble that name into one field wouldn't be that hard, right? New name or new title, let's call it. New title is going to be L string and R string. We might need a space in there. Let me take a look. Yes, we're gonna need a space in there sometimes. Sometimes, not all the time. Alright, sometimes let's see here what we get. By dropping a space in there. Okay, and it looks good. Alright. Now, Sue's got a space in front of her right there. Let's see what we got there. And that is because the trim over here, the whole thing is an R string. So we're going to want to trim this too. All right? The trims are important to get rid of all those extraneous spaces. And that should work. All right? Give me the left string, force a space, and then give me the right string, and then trim the whole thing. Because this would have a space in the end of it too. And Sue would have a space in the front of her. So that should work just fine. Now, again, we can use an update query or an append query, or just work with this data right here. Here's our code, here's our new title. We can throw those into new fields. And I have separate lessons on how to do update and append queries if you want to see how those work. Thank you, and I hope you found this tip helpful. If you'd like to find more just like it, go to my website at accesslearningzone.com and go to the tips section. YouTube viewers, make sure you go to accesslearningzone.com slash YouTube and you'll get a 50% discount on any of my full video tutorials.